Hi everyone, today we're going to do the pigeon cirque dissection. So what I will be doing is actually trying two slightly different techniques. Um, one, I'm going to be flipping the pectoralis muscle up toward the head, and the other out toward the wing. Um, and the reason behind that is because last year we, I believe, did um, all of that flipping um, up toward the head of the pectoralis, and we ended up get, um, having a lot of uh, pector pectoral arteries and veins broken. So we want to see if a uh, slightly different technique might help preserve those. So um, what I'll be doing uh, specifically is cutting through the pectoralis muscle and the supracoracoideus, and I'll be cutting the ribs where they attach to the keel below this, and then taking that keel completely out. We might want to like keep it um, so that we can place it back over and wrap our pigeon up so it helps protect the internal organs. Um, but we do want to take it completely out so that we can see everything more clearly within the uh, pigeon's actual body. Um, so I'm going to get started on that. I will see you in a bit. All right, so now we can see that I have um, separated the pectoralis and supracoracoides on this side, not on this side yet, um, uh, on, and slightly different areas. So this one was already cut um, like we did for the muscle unit. Uh, so we can see that supracoracoides deep below the pectoralis, um, and that is flipping out toward the wing. And this one, I've actually sliced it and pushed kind of through all the muscle so that it can flip up toward the head. Um, which is more like what we did last year. Um, and I can already tell there's quite a bit of tension on the um, arteries and veins right here. So I'm going to try to be very careful and keep them in place, but there's a very real possibility that uh, they will tear as we kind of expected. Um, so this one is probably the one we're going to go with and we'll want you to do if you're doing a pigeon dissection um, to cut, just kind of continue this up the, the furcula and uh, push that pectoralis off to the side. All right, see you in a bit. So now what I'm going to do is cut through those ribs so we can see like there's one here. I'll just give it a little snip and snip, snip. I should probably stop saying snip as I do this, but you know, whatever. <laughs> oh boy, it's been a long week. Um, so I'm just going to slowly open it up. I'm trying to be careful because all those internal organs are kind of like jam-packed up against, like they, they have to really cram everything into their um, little abdominal cavity. I guess it's like, yeah. Um, so <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that's packed right up against the bone. Um, so we do want to be careful as we're doing this, but um, you don't have to be super gentle. We're not like dissecting a salamander or anything, uh, which is just so delicate. But this one is not too bad. I just got to make sure I get all the way around. And uh, I'm going to try to maintain these um, arteries and veins that we can see right here uh, at the tip of my scissors as I do this. Um, I'm not exactly sure I'm going to do that just yet, but uh, I will give you updates and probably put into the text what, what I came up with. Um, so let's do it. Okay, so we've gotten through. Um, I actually cut the keel, not exactly where I'm supposed to here, just to see, like I wanted to lift it up and see exactly where I would be 
separating uh, these arteries and veins out. Um, so I can see like the heart, I think, right there. Um, so I'd want to be, I'll, I'll be taking this off later, but I just wanted to check that first and I'll probably do it um, more like what I would hope you would do on the other side. Uh, let me. Now, uh, what I have to do is uh, up here, if you remember our bird anatomy stuff, um, the coracoid is actually right there and it articulates with that keel. So I have to cut through that, and that's going to be probably the toughest, the hardest thing at least, not like difficulty-wise, it's just so much thicker than the ribs. Um, and as you're working with the keel, you'll notice that it's actually kind of, it feels spongy because it's, you know, um, relatively porous, uh, as bird bones tend to be. Um, so, as I guess theropod bones tend to be, haha, <laughs> anatomy. Um, so let's... Uh, cut through that coracoid on this side and then I'll go up this side and I'll be a little more, I'll be a little less timid on the bird's right. <laughs> so let's do that. All right, so you can see I have removed that keel um, entirely, so we can now see deep. Um, it looks like, fortunately, all my pectoral, uh, pectoral arteries and veins are still intact. Um, I will now work on trying to separate this stuff out because, um, as we learned in lecture, uh, birds have you know a substantial amount of air sacs and just like they kind of shrink their bodies down as much as possible so they maximize their use of space so you can see like this massive heart and that massive liver and then like a lot of the other organs that still need to be there are just like buried in here so i'm going to try to work on separating that out without destroying too much but uh we will see how it goes so see you in a bit Okay, so one thing I'm going to do is actually cut through the keel. Um, that should help me possibly see those external carotids um, a bit better. Uh, but we will we will see how that goes. Actually, yeah, that looks great because we can see right here. Well, I got to get a probe under both sides, but uh, it is a bit easier to access now. So, yeah, definitely cut that furcula. Um, right, right down the middle, kind of like a breaking the wishbone for Thanksgiving, but a little more gruesome looking, I suppose. All right, um, I'm gonna keep working on this. It's gonna take quite a bit of time to uh, get like all these organs separated, at least somewhat, so we can see underneath them. They're really, like I said before, they're really tightly bound together, and you might damage that liver uh, quite a bit <laughs> as you do this. Um, so I'll try to keep it, but just be careful. Um, before I go on from this, uh, we'll just kind of 
identify like the heart is here. Here's the liver. You can see the, the stomach and then the intestines are down here. Uh, so I will keep working on getting things separated. Um, see you when I find something interesting to tell you. I have actually explored a little bit more on the arm than you would have to. Uh, what we want to know on the arm is the brachial and uh, artery, sorry, brachial artery and vein. So that extends out and actually does some similar branching to what you see in the rabbit, but we're not going to actually do um, those branches, at least not this year, maybe next year, who knows. Um, so I'm still going with this. I have separated off that crop quite a bit. I'm trying to be careful not to pierce into it so much, but it is kind of in the way, um, especially this one is just absolutely enormous. Um, but I do want to see like the uh, external jugular vein, which is here, that, and then our carotid arteries as well. And those are kind of buried here a little bit, but yeah, uh, we'll just keep going, I guess. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot. This one is um, quite a bit of work, as is the shark. Um, but it, the payoff is really, I, I think this stuff is really cool. Uh, so I, I love seeing the shark and the pigeon in lab. All right, so after having uh, done the both head uh, direction for the flip of the pector pectoralis and the wing direction, this one, I think I would recommend doing the wing um, direction with a reflection of those pectoral, uh, pectoral muscles. Um, I didn't uh, keep the supracoracoideus, and you can actually see one of the veins that was coming from that supracoracoideus um, right here. But if you can, I would try to keep the supracoracoideus uh, just kind of like separated off of the keel without removing it from the keel, of course. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, do that wing reflection, the wing direction. So reflect it laterally instead of cranially. All right, I'm going to keep cleaning. Um, one thing I will do is actually destroy part of the liver so that we can really see more of this abdominal branching of the arteries and veins um, because that liver is very hard and in the way of all the stuff we really want to get down to and see. So I'm going to do that and I'll talk to you in a bit.
All right, so the pigeon dissection is done. Um, I did dig out the kidney. I didn't talk over it, so I'll kind of just put that in uh, after. And, uh, you know, take care, everyone. See you in lab.